What's going on guys? My name is Tuwimi and today we're going to be talking about Skylanders Superchargers and as many of you know it is definitely not my favorite game by a long shot in the franchise but you know I can still talk about it and my boy Jackcraft7 has asked me to talk about it. So uh, right now I'm going to be discussing the top LAN vehicles and I'm going to be ranking all of them from best to worst. I guess it's also the top 10 best and top 10 worst in the same video but you know what I mean. So these are just all the LAN vehicles because I thought it was annoying to rank all the vehicles because they're all different categories like the sky vehicles, LAN vehicles, and water vehicles are all different in my mind. So I just want to focus on the land vehicles, which I think are the best out of all of them and easiest to control. Just keep in mind that this list is all about the functionality and usefulness of the vehicles themselves. It has nothing to do with their design. And this list is primarily based off of the Skylander Supercharged Racing Mode and not the gameplay of race battles which is literally the dumbest thing ever and I don't want to talk about it so we're just talking about racing itself. So yeah let's get into this. Alrighty so my personal worst land vehicle has to go to Crip Crusher and I'm not talking about the amazing Skytuber Crip Crusher but the worst vehicle or land vehicle per se on my list it goes to Fiesta's vehicle the Crip Crusher. Now the main thing I hate about this vehicle is it has no kind of speed boost whatsoever which makes it pretty useless for racing. I also felt that you could take hits super easily and the armor is just absolutely atrocious on this vehicle. And the attacks I just do not understand. So his first attack tune up it's to shoot musical notes or something and I just never f could figure out how to use it correctly. And his third attack, um, which shoots out Amigos, it's called Amigo Amplitude. It's a pretty good attack where you can damage things over time, but the fire rate is just absolutely so slow with it that it never was worth it to me. So yeah, that is our worst vehicle. Let's continue this list. So the second to worst, I'm going to have to give it to High Volt's vehicle, the Shield Striker. Personally, this vehicle just does not do it for me. Um, the first attack, the uh, crowd control it's called, it just shoots out electricity. I've never been able to really down anyone with this attack. His uh, second attack is a lot better. It's called Doomproof Force Field. Although, you can't really damage people easily with this. It creates a shield that protects you, which is really nice if someone is shooting at you, but that makes it really hard to drift and do other things when you're holding the shield up. And I would rather just have a way to damage enemies behind me instead of just holding the shield up all the time. Um, it can explode in damage, but it's just so hard to use and I never really liked it. Um, the vehicle's also not very fast, so... <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the Shield Striker, and um, let's continue on this list. Alright, the next vehicle on my ranking is the Thump Truck, which is Smash Hits Vehicle. Um, this, this is just a big, I don't know what to call it, like huge truck that I don't know why anyone would use for racing, but yeah, it, it exists. And you would think the armor and stuff like that would be better on it because it's just so huge and you can run over people, but no, that's not the case. Um, yeah, so let's go over his attacks. The first attack, under punch. Um, it just never really worked for me. It was really hard to aim this attack, and the fire rate is abysmal. It is just so awful. And the second attack, the bush booster, I did like because it is a bit of a speed boost, so that's why I ranked it above the last two, but it's also just very uh, short, it doesn't last very long, and I don't know, I felt like it wasn't that great of a speed boost, but it is nice to be some kind of a speed boost that you can damage enemies with, but usually you can never get close enough to the enemies to damage them. So yeah, that's my thoughts on Thump Truck, but yeah, let's go on to the next one. The next vehicle is the Shark Tank, which is Seraphin's vehicle. 
this vehicle is very similar to the sump truck in some ways. So <laughs> the first attack is called ballistic drill missile and it shoots a little shark. The main problem with this for me is just the fire rate, it is way too slow. And the second attack in air quotes is um, to enter a swimming mode, it's called street swimming. This move is really good if you want to avoid enemy attacks, but it is really hard to use sometimes. The main reason it's difficult to use is because you can only be underground or on the ground when using it. When you're in the air, it's kind of useless. And it also isn't very fast. It's not really a speed boost. It just puts you under the ground and that's kind of it. You can't really attack anyone or do anything with it kind of rank this above the last one was because of the shark missiles. I think they were a little bit better than our previous choice with the thumb truck. But yeah, that's uh, that's it. So let's move on to the next one. All right, now we're getting to the top ones on my list of better vehicles. And for this, we're going to talk about the burn cycle, which is Lava Lance Eruptor's vehicle. I think it's a pretty decent vehicle. Um, his first attack delayed blast pyro ball is pretty good and I wish the fire rate was better of course uh, but it does quite a bit of damage and it's pretty good attack and the second attack releasing fire is a great speed boost and I love how it damages people behind you so pretty great vehicle uh, let's go on to the next one all right the next one we're gonna be talking about bone bash rollerballs vehicle Ugh, that was hard to say um, her vehicle is called the Tomb Buggy, and it is a pretty good vehicle. I will say I love the first attack, which is called Spread the Love, and that's exactly what it does. It shoots people at an awesomely wide radius, and it can attack lots of people, and that's one of the reasons I put it a bit up there over the burn cycle. And then the third attack, called Unfair Play, has uh, energy spikes or something, I don't know what to call it, sides on the side of you. I haven't found the best way to use this attack yet, but uh, when it is used, it's pretty effective. I just wish it would attack behind or have some sort of speed boost instead, but overall, great vehicle because of the first attack. Next on our list, we're going to be talking about Donkey Kong's vehicle called the Barrel Blaster. This is a really nice and fast maneuverable vehicle. I will say that the first attack is pretty standard but it does have a better firing rate than some of the ones previously. And I really like the second attack spike barrel mines, which puts a ton of spiked barrel mines around you and then you can kind of aim them. The main gripe I have about it is it's really hard to aim these things. They kind of float wherever they want. So if you can become really skilled at aiming them, I'm sure it'll be used way more effectively than I do it. And the second best land vehicle that I have for you is Hot Streak, and that belongs to Spitfire. This is just an incredible vehicle, super fast, has decent stats and stuff like that. Um, the first attack fire grill is great at wearing enemies down, and it's, it's just great, but I love the second attack, which is called Nitro Blaze, where it lets you to boost forward, and this is the best boost out of any of the vehicles I could find. It is just fantastic, and I highly recommend it. Great vehicle for races, and amazing, but there is one left, and let's get to it. And the number one land vehicle that I got for you is the Gold Rusher, which is Double Dare Trigger Happy's vehicle. I love this vehicle so much, and it is one of the reasons that I slightly enjoy superchargers. So its first attack is called the Currency Cannon, and just rapidly shoots people, it obliterates them. When I am using this vehicle, it is incredible, and when I am going against this vehicle, it annihilates you with this this attack and then the second attack which is called triggered happy mines where you just drop mines on people behind you is so amazing I have used it to secure my victory so many times because you can just drop mines on people behind you and destroy them while they are also trying to destroy you it is just so satisfying and I absolutely love the gold rusher 
So that is my list ranking all of the land vehicles for superchargers. I plan on doing this list for all the other vehicle types, the water and the sky ones. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know your rankings in the comments. I always love to see what you guys think. And I know I'm not the biggest superchargers fan, so I'm probably wrong on a lot of these, but these are just my personal impressions of each of these vehicles and what I think about them and which ones I would rather use or not use. So thanks again for watching. Thank you, Jackcraft, for being a member and recommending this video. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. See you later. Goodbye. Before I go, I would like to give a huge shout out to my Psyduck gods, where we got Skylanders Dude and Jackcraft7. I'd also like to give a shout out to my Power Rangers, where we got Blue and King Toast. And I would also like to thank all of my Gusto Cult members. I am so blessed by the generosity of all of you. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day.